Sports Geek fam, what it do? Antonio Williams from the Sports Geek here. And before we get started, I need you to do one thing. Hit that red button. Yes, that is the easy button. It's not the Charles Barkley, I guarantee button. It is the subscribe button. Subscribe to the Sports Geek. Subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel where we get it in and we talk about all these sports and other things. Again, you see him, Sports Geek. That's my guy. Will Cormier does a great job writing about politics and entertainment, but he knows the fight game as well. So we talk about fight, fight the fight game. We talk about wrestling and with wrestling, it could be the hurt business, right? We can talk about wrestling or actually the fight game. So before we get started, Will, what up, baby? How you doing, brother? What's going on, man? I like that what it do, the old Paul Wall. Yes, sir. All All we need is our grills, right? Oh, I do need a grill so bad. That's what we need. We need a uh, shout out to uh, Bianca Belair. She po- posted a picture on Instagram with in a gr- with a grill on it. Man, perfect, perfect. Good gracious, good gracious. Let me just say that, right? <laughs> yeah. My Taz Ford is a lucky man. He's a yeah. lucky man. <laughs> so, I digress. But we are now going to talk about. Man, we got the Battle of New York. We had it in verses yesterday, right? <laughs> with yeah, with Gibson yeah. and, and the Locks. And we know what happened there. Shout out to both hip hop one. Let me say it like that. Hip hop one and New York hip hop one. But really the last one. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But really. Hashtag RTO real talk only, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But we're going to talk about another battle in New York. Going to talk about a guy that's from Southside Jamaica, Queens. Lamar Odom. He's going to fight a guy that's from Brownsville who is a heavyweight legend who had a great career. We're talking about Riddick Mm Bowe. Man, so what do you think about this? All right, so (laughs) this is as ridiculous as it. We've been talking a lot about celebrity (laughs) boxing and uh, these matches, and this is as crazy as it gets. So I just wanted to look over. So I guess they got the idea that Lamar Odom could take this fight from his bout with Aaron (laughs) Carter uh, a couple months ago. (laughs) And so right. I just want to share my screen real quick and just show you what we're dealing with here. Sports Geek fam, this is what you're getting right here. Look at this. You're getting action right here on the spot. You think Lamar Odom made a song after he beat Aaron Carter? Remember, that's how I beat Shaq? You think yeah. Lamar made a song and said, that's how I beat Aaron, man? <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. There we go. So he doesn't, I mean, he's about to knock him down with jabs. <laughs> That's that triple G jab. He doesn't do anything. He, just, he has a, he's a foot taller. His arms are so long. His pants are sagging. Yeah. And he's got and Laker he's colors. He's going to knock down this little, look at this, dude. Look at it. Look at that. All right. Oh, man. I say this, and I'll get back to this in a second, that Riddick Bowe is going to kill him. (laughs) He better. Because you can't – I mean, this is – he's doing this against a kid with zero boxing ability. Let me find – Shout out, Chuck. And they're fighting with big headgear on and 23-ounce gloves. Right, right. And he isn't one, finishing this goofy kid. One minute rounds, right? Yeah. <laughs> With Small Chuck Liddell Liddell as the referee. Yes. The shout referee. out to the Ice Man. <laughs> Poor Chuck. He's got his work cut out for us. So. so I'm wondering if they're going to do this with Riddick Bowe in the same. Look at this. If So look at it that. It reminds me of when uh, Manute Bull fought Refrigerator Perry on Fox. Oh, wow. You went back. Has one, he just throws his left. He's a right handed. Well, Lamar Odom was a southpaw, right? But he's fighting Odom orthodox, was, right? And he's right. using his lead hand to just pop that jab out, which somehow knocked out Aaron <laughs> Carter. But I think he was gassed. <laughs> but even though Riddick Bowe is really old and looks fat and old now, I'll get a picture of him up here. I'll share as well. Even with that. Yeah, let's see. I don't think uh, I don't think he has anything to worry about. Like just even like the slightest amount of 
skill should get him through this. See, this is what Riddick Bow is looking like. There's Riddick Bow. Time is uh is cruel, isn't it? Man, it makes you think about how quickly I'm getting old. That's what it makes me think about. <laughs> yeah, because we are I mean he retired in what 2008. That wasn't that long ago, and like it doesn't right. feel like it was that long ago in my life. It doesn't. It was but, just one uh, economic recession ago. Exactly. There That's we how go. I count right. my life now in <laughs> horrible economic collapses. Oh man! Um, but yeah, we were looking up before we we started talking about this. He hasn't, he didn't lose a fight the last 14 years of his career. He dropped the one to Holyfield and then just won everything, won the rematch, won everything since then. So these guys are signed to fight on, uh, I want to say, October 2nd. I'm right. Sure. And um, I just don't think, even if he's out of shape, and even if it, Lamar was in great shape, which, like, I don't even know how good it should, he looked good in that fight, but, like, there was that whole incident back in the day where he was like hanging on to life. It sounded like it was pretty scary right. for I mean, right. how much he recovered. I don't think you ever get all the way back to your athletic prime after something as traumatic as that. So right. no matter how out of shape Riddick Poe is, no matter how much he's lost his mobility, I don't think you can just square up to him and pop him with lead, you know, left-hand jabs like that. The triple G jab. <laughs> and, and never <laughs> – never have anything else behind it, you know, from to worry about. I, I don't see how he really poses a threat. At, at worst, it goes the distance, I'm thinking. And, and to your point, um, you know, that was a smaller ring. We we're going one minute rounds as well in that Aaron Carter, Lamar Odom fight. If if I'm Lamar Odom, I want a bigger ring so I can mm -hmm. run. You want to win, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> I want a bigger ring. Um, mm -hmm. and, and then to your point, the other thing about that, Will, is as we know, when you age, the last thing that goes is that power, power. right? What do we, right? We talk about old man strength, right? Mm -hmm. So, man, I, I don't know. If for Lamar Odom to feel a real heavyweight and Riddick Bow was a legit heavyweight, to feel that, mm, you're that's stepping up tough. from the Backstreet Boys' little brother. And I think he was a pop star in his own right. But that was He was. Like, that's how I beat Shaq. <laughs> Stepping up from him to even an old Riddick Bow is, a, is an enormous jump up in, in talent level. Right. In right. danger. Like that's that's probably the craziest, like most dramatic jump up in like competition <laughs> anyone's ever taken on in the sport of boxing. Oh man, that that's a major, that's a major jump. That's a major, major jump. From like a teeny bopper pop star kid. <laughs> that's I think he weighed a hundred pounds less than him. And was like at over a full like foot short because Lamar Holmes six ten, yeah right you know, right like it's a guy you can knock out with jabs, to, <laughs> to a real heavyweight fighter, right? And you walk in the in the in the ring with Laker shorts on, Laker colors. <laughs> Not even yeah yeah, That's an old man team. He might get the way the Lakers are signing people right now. He might go oh, back. They might sign Lamar Odom. <laughs> They might sign Lamar after this Play fight. Nice right? Carmelo. Oh, yeah. Trevor <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it, it is going to be so interesting to see this because to your point, I mean, it's, you know, you hear on the commentary when uh, in the Aaron Carter, Lamar Odom fight, it was close the distance, close the distance. Well, you best believe that Riddy Bo is going to do that. So Yeah, and it's going to be a little easier for him. No question. No right. question. So, yeah, it, that's it's one thing, it, it, you know, when you go in, and I was having this conversation again, shout out to my guy, Mike, the truth, Mike, the truth, Jackson. And we were talking about, you know, the guys that such as myself, I do a hey, shout out to fight camp. I do fight camp. Right. OK. <laughs> and, and and people were like, you know what, man, I'm pretty good at fight camp. I can let these things go. Right. So I'm ready to really fight. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Wait, is that like like rock and roll camp? Do they do like fight camp where you? Like where like old dudes go train? No, no. What, what did I, I? I wish it were. I wish oh, it were. Okay. Right? No, it, it's really you get your bag, you got your sensors, and you have it on the screen, and you just do what they tell you to do in terms oh. of the routines and all those things. So yeah, that's what I okay. do. It's like yep. a peloton, but fighting. Right. Exactly. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yep. All right, I'd be into that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so yeah, but people like us. You get your combos down. 
you've been doing it for a little bit and you feel like you can really fight, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, and then you yeah, fight right. a guy that lost one fight over his entire career. No matter exactly. how, you know, no matter how old. I've seen those episodes of Cops where those like old dudes that were in like their 70s or 80s. Some dude tried to mug them, but because they were an old boxer, they ended up beating yeah. the dude up. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> at the very least, he's going to do that. No doubt, like, no doubt. A certain amount of boxing sticks with you forever. No question. No yeah. question. And to your point, we've seen those viral clips as well where you get that old guy, the speed bag, and he just is working it, right? Yeah, so we see a certain that. amount that never leaves you. Especially That's right. If you're a top right. level guy. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, you know, going back to another Brownsville guy, Mike Tyson, who's very good friend, friends with Riddick Bo, when mm-hmm. you used to see Rest in Power Cus D'Amato, and he was talking about throwing different shots and he's talking about different combos with Mike. You see it with Cus is throwing. It's like, man, this is an old man. But he can still throw those things, right? So, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. And this is a heavyweight champ, former heavyweight champion. So, so there aren't, better, there's not odds on this yet because it just like just got inked officially as, as right. a card for the October second. So we don't have betting odds yet. We'll I'm come back when with we that. do. Riddick Bo will probably be like minus three fifty, minus four hundred favorite. I'm guessing. Yep. And so Sports Geek fam, we will come back when those odds drop. Will and I will be talking about that as well. <laughs> oh, I mean, the more nonsense they put in the ring, the more we're going to talk about it. That's hey, first, it's not going anywhere, my right? Specialty these days. No, hey, no question, right? It is not going anywhere because we love it. We absolutely love it. Just like Sports Geek Fam, you should be loving all this content that we're bringing your way. So again, we're giving you these takes so you can go make that cake. Will and I'll see you again. Don't forget to mm-hmm. like and subscribe to the channel. The Sports Geek on YouTube. We'll see you soon.